Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff. And as always, I also publish on Rumble and on Patreon for extra support. Any kind of updates and the search usually a good bot on Twitter X. And yeah, just quick updates here. It's been a while since I did uh, almost five or six days that I did the last uh, gaming news. Again, just to, uh, I did wrap up some stuff that I was uh, pending on the processes that I that I wanted for the the, the, the visa stuff there, and it took me a while uh, to get around that. Plus the, the other things that were pending on that process, uh, I did manage already to resolve. So uh, hopefully uh, I can manage to uh, proceed as normal um, uh, regarding the gaming news. Plus uh, the fact that this. Uh, Got the, uh, we got the Monster Hunter Wilds beta and I wanted to really try out uh, that one. So I, I managed to record five videos total. I didn't manage to stream because uh, I, I didn't have like a block at least two to three hours to stream it a little bit here to, to and try to for the first time play a Monster Hunter um, game. Um, in the meantime, I also managed to, uh, I did a covering news regarding this uh, upcoming game, uh, VED. Uh, I played the demo there. Um, I, I give my opinions in the in the last five to ten minutes of that video. I give my overall uh, opinion regarding that demo itself. Um, but yeah, and I did kind of pause uh, the Midnight Suns episodes because I wanted to give at this moment in time give priority to Monster Hunter Wilds in terms of editing and uploading and all that jazz. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Hopefully, by the end of this uh, week, I will be able to continue my uh, previous schedule, which is try to, at least Monday through Saturday, give my gaming news program and deliver some uh, gameplay episodes uh, throughout those uh, uh, five days, uh, five to six days a week uh, until I wrap up Midnight Suns, and then I will, will introduce... Uh, I think I, I still... Uh, will keep uh, in at least in my plans uh, the Callisto protocol didn't manage to claim that for free on Epic Game Store and I'm curious about that game even though uh, we kind of know that um, it's a uh, drop type IP but regardless it's always uh, interesting to, to check um, what I think can be a good game um, other than that um, what else um, I just updated also uh, the active gameplay series uh, I got here for the moment until at least it finished up uh, the five ep episodes that I uh, did for Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh, I introduced now one uh, regarding gameplay demos, so I will probably try to get around and from time to time at least uh, check in, uh, a demo for a game that it's upcoming that might interest me. Um, and, I, and I will uh, put it that uh, on that playlist and uh, see if I can manage in the meantime uh, until Monster Hunter Wilds comes out because I think that one uh, I'm very interested in play in play the, the full version of the game and probably when I play I will live stream it. Uh, in the meantime, I'll, I'll see if I can manage to, to get around and do some Death Stranding uh, gameplay also. But yeah, other than that, I think that's the updates that I wanted to bring to the channel. Um, yeah, I, I think that's it. I don't recall anything um, that I want to, to cover at the moment. Again, I lost a lot of news uh, because of the news cycles. Uh, still, the Dragon uh, Dragon Age Felgard, I will cover a little bit there. I will talk about when I reach that article. Um, there's been a lot of stuff happening there. Uh, but uh, we will start off with uh, the latest leak. Yesterday, the uh, 9800X 3D a review leaked out. Um, again, interesting about this review. Uh, again, I uh, hope people uh, that watch this article don't misinterpret the, the results here. Uh, it seems this uh, review was made um, in a, trying to approach uh, real-life scenarios here of what people might experience. Uh, as a normal user instead of doing a, a pure CPU review uh, um, instead. Uh, because usually on the how you do the correct proper comparisons between CPUs is try to arrange a scenario when uh, the bottleneck of the system is dependent on the CPU itself uh, and that you can compare the CPUs uh, between different um, price ranges. Uh, and I think, and that is the correct way of uh, reviewing a CPU in that sense. Uh, but here in this leaked 
um, review, it's more about trying to reach a, um, a more real world scenario of what a normal user can uh, usually will use the CPU for. Um, I think the, the settings were all in 1440p, which by itself is not um, usually a CPU um, bottleneck by itself. Uh, usually you go 1080p low settings or even 720p depending <laughs> of what you're trying to test. Uh, and uh, it was made uh, with a 4070 uh, class card. So by itself, it, it, there are scenarios where um, the GPU is going to be the bottleneck in, in, the, in this comparison. And they compare it uh, again against the 9700X only, uh, which by itself, uh, again, uh, it's not a CPU review in, in the pure sense of the word. Uh, what is interesting, it seems that uh, uh, in some cases uh, the 9800X 3D really does have uh, some um, uplift in terms of performance of the average frame rate. Uh, but we, what it was interesting to see was that in uh, all instances that I, uh, at least that's my memory, in all instances it seems that uh, the... Uh, 1% lows and the 0.1% uh, lows, they have a huge uplift, uh, which is good because, again, it, the frames uh, that you see on the monitor are always dependent on the CPU, of what the CPU can deliver in the calculation of delivering a frame for the GPU to um, to deal with that frame and show it on screen. That instruction is always dependent on the CPU. And if the CPU has a, a better 1% uh, lows, um, uh, what you will see is less stuttering or in, even on the frame time graph, it is going to be more smoother, let's say. Um, and that by itself can have some impact in real world case scenarios where you are basically dependent on the CPU and when you uh, update your CPU, you can uh, notice a more smooth gameplay session um, when you upgrade that CPU in, in this case scenario. Uh, so it, it was pretty interesting to see that. But then again, um, don't take this as um, like the final say of the, the, what this uh, CPU can do. Again, usually I, I watch Unwear Unbox and Gamers Nexus, uh, more comprehensive CPU reviews where they compare price to performance. Uh, they compare itself all the a huge range of lineups of CPUs that are available on the market and that is uh, the, the correct way per se of doing a CPU review. Uh, but yeah, uh, a lot of stuff uh, that uh, we can see out of this data. Again, taking into account this is uh, leaked, so all the information here is correct uh, and was tested accordingly to what uh, the, the images say it was done here. But yeah, interesting things to see here. Uh, in terms of games, again, just a reminder, I, I watched some, um, I think because it launched the latest DLC for Alan Wake 2, I think it, the, 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 the Lake House, I think, <clears throat> and there was a lot of fanfare that uh, Alan Wake is um, a critical success to the Remedy, uh, even though, again, it didn't recoup all, um, <laughs> all the money from uh, development and marketing of this game. Again, uh, I think there are some uh, people that, uh, again, uh, they are trying to spin this information to a certain degree. Um, again, even though in terms of uh, review scores, it seems to hover around, uh, around 90%. <laughs> which is okay by itself. Again, some influences here. Again, I already commented this, uh, the fact that uh, it seems, I, I, again, I, I didn't play the game. I don't have the game. Um, but it seems that uh, there, for an Alan Wake game, uh, there is not much of Alan Wake as the first one uh, because the first game, really, uh, Alan Wake was the main character. Everything uh, revolved around his experiences uh, in that game. And here there is a lot of 50-50 um, between Alan Wake and uh, Saga character, I think she's called, uh, the FBI agent. Again, it doesn't seem that much that uh, it is, or doesn't feel that much that it is um, an Alan Wake game, at least story-wise, in the perspective of who is the main character there. I think they were trying to transition some stuff there. Um, but yeah, other than that, the, the, the main thing to take out is uh, they are still d 
didn't make all the money there. Um, because even in the last earnings call, the CEO of Remedy, uh, Tero Virtala, said that Alaric recouped most of his investment, so he didn't fully recover, so he didn't make any kind of profits out of this game, which is interesting. Um, again, um, I think one of the big mistakes here is the fact that they uh, got dependent on the Epic uh, Games um, financing of this game. Um, because uh, it seems that it is a permanent exclusive on Epic Game Store, so we will never see this game on Steam, for example. And uh, I think if the game, by if given the chance to come out to Steam um, at the time of the launch, because it's now been over a year since Alan Wake 2 launch, I, I think in, at least in terms of sales, they already had at least some profits out of it uh, might not be a gangbusters in terms of profits but i think in terms of revenue sorry uh, but i think at least at this point in time uh, they could already have sold uh, enough copies to uh, make the the money back from the the, the investment there um i think that's why one of the reasons uh, that remedy uh, is counting a little bit now on annapurna on delivering some um uh transmedia from their remedy connected universe uh in the next projects uh because again uh, i think they reached the conclusion that uh yeah it, it, it doesn't sell on epic game store epic game store is in terms of raw numbers it's not a competitor to steam uh not even any kind of ea launcher and the ubisoft launcher and store front page they are no, uh, they, they don't offer any kind of competition in in, in terms of sales uh, regarding Steam. Um, and I think uh, they are reaching the conclusion it's, it's better to take a 30% cut uh, f to give it to Steam and uh, sell more million copies than, than to try and uh, be more greedy, let's say, in the overall scheme of things. But yeah, uh, but th there are some excuses being made um the fact that for example in this article says uh, front thing they launched the game only in digital stores but that now being rectified again they launched a, a physical version again you might get uh, i don't know a couple of hundred uh, maybe a couple of thousand uh, copies sold on that um but yeah the fact that the, the when they launched they launched exclusively and at this moment in time the information that they give here it's a permanent exclusive exclusive to epic game store it doesn't bode well for this game and to this franchise as a whole um because i was interested in playing alan wake 2 mainly because that um alan wake 1 was so good i, I was willing to uh, take it a chance there um even though the we know uh, this uh, secondary character takes a lot of the, the the screen time let's say from alan wake and and he is uh uh, adventures uh but yeah um still not recoup, recoup uh the money uh and i don't think they will uh, I, I think like ubisoft uh, around 70 percent of their revenue is coming from backlog catalog um uh, of games instead of the new games that they launched there which is uh, something to think about there um, in terms of games that sold pretty well, we got Hogwarts Legacy. It sold now uh, 30 million copies, uh, or over 30 million copies, but at least 30 uh, is uh, guaranteed here. Um, again, th some articles, uh, they are still hammering this down, which despite Harry Potter, they, they try to downplay the Harry Potter franchise. Uh, by being incredibly dated at this point, uh, it still has considerable fan base. Again, uh, it has uh, a considerable fan base that it sells 30 million units of a game by itself. So I think it's not that well dated um, as uh, the, 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 I don't know, the journalists wrote here. Uh, and again, it's no surprise how so they end up being top selling game of 2023. I think uh, in 2023 they sold in the entirety of the year around 20 22 million copies i think um but yeah uh chief uh, cfo from one of the brothers uh obviously access to august let's see one of the biggest priorities in a couple of years down the road again they maintaining that they, they are i assume working uh hopefully on this in the same kind of way that they did august legacy uh hopefully august legacy 2 is going to be um single player game in the same vein that the first one and because they 
there was frown about uh, some stuff that uh, they were trying to put it uh, as a game as service, the uh, Hogwarts Legacy 2. Again, um, even inside Warner Brothers, they have uh, not a good experience with that, especially with the uh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League game, uh, plus other games. Again, um, the same thing happened with the EA regarding uh, Dragon Age uh, team, at least the studio Bioware, they did Anthem. Um, yeah, people have so much time in their lives throughout the day to play game as a service that they will focus on one day they like and they will keep it playing until it's gone out of the, 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 the webs. Um, while a single player game can represent in terms of how you view it financially uh, a bigger um, uh, risk to, to investment there, but uh, in the overall, if you make a good game uh, that is is trying to be tailored to the, the client base that exists at this moment, I think you can have good successes. We got, for example, uh, Black Meat Full Kong, uh, got Elden Ring as an example, you got Monster Hunter that's selling well, got a lot of uh, fr franchises and IPs and games that are coming and selling pretty well uh, and making money, uh, making huge profits out of the investment that they made. You just, again, these this people think the more money you put on, on a um, project, automatically you will uh, end up with more profits. Again, it doesn't work like that. Same thing that it doesn't work on movies, series. We got the Lucasfilm stuff putting in those series uh, budgets of uh, $200 million, some of them ramping up at $300 million. Nobody views the, the those series um, because they think just by putting more money on it, it, it automatically uh, you will get customers uh, just by spending money out of it on, on those properties there. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't work like that. You just need to have uh, a controlled budget for starters, and then you build the game around that budget and you you don't surpass that budget and try to, to cater to the, the customer base that exists uh, potentially for that game. Um, and that's usually how you make money on the gaming industry uh, or any kind of industry. Uh, but yeah, uh, August I guess is a good example. The, it was developed by a, um, the same guys that did Just Cause. Um, they really enjoyed the IP. They, they had some ideas to explore inside the, the, the world of Harry Potter and they came up with this game that sold pretty well, even though all the backlash per se of what we might call the game journalists and the mainstream media of gaming or whatever you want to to refer to them, trying to bash down on it. Um, but yeah, still on this article, I, I completely forgot to, to tell. Yeah, uh, they still reference the pipe, despite the fact that this IP belongs to J.K. and Rowling, it's been confirmed that she's not involved with the management of, of the franchise. Again, she wrote, wrote the books and she just uh, she's a writer, she's not a game developer, she's not a film director, so she might be involved in the sense that trying to keep things uh, as truth to the original books and what the books were trying to convey, but other than that, I don't think she will ever put her nose there. Uh, she will sell uh, sell or rent uh, the, the, the rights to the IP itself. Uh, but yeah, um, when you have a good uh, IP, uh, and you take advantage of therapy and, and cater to uh, the audience that it, it was uh, that gave that IP the the, the money, uh, especially on the books. If, if you put together on the multimedia space there, if you cater to that same audience uh, that made the, the, the IP what it was, I think you are uh, good to go. Uh, then we got with the Dragon Age. Uh, the game uh, is selling so good and uh, even with all the high uh, reviews and, and praise that it's been receiving, uh, still interesting enough, they are not, uh, they don't have any plans for releasing any kind of uh, DLC or any, any kind of extra content for this <laughs> for this game, which is interesting given the, all the praise that is, they are being receiving uh, from the, 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 the Kotakus and the IGNs and all that jazz. Uh, again, there is no plans for any kind of extra content. I will assume the, the studio will keep up and um, do 
the optimization and the bug fixing and all that jazz. But again, no extra content is going to be released. At least no plans are. Uh, again, this game to be successful and uh, given the numbers that we uh, have shown regarding production budget, at least, um, my projections at least has to sell around 50 million copies around that to make its money back to a certain degree and uh, by the steam page uh, db numbers in terms of concurrent players is already below there managed to reach a peak of almost 90k players at the same time uh, but yeah other than that this game is completely uh, screwed again it's a cringe fest for the videos that i've been watching um, but i have to give them that the game seems to run smoothly in the technical uh, aspect of things the, the game seems pretty good in terms of running very smoothly um, rarely there is any kind of um, in, in terms of the technical aspect any kind of things going wrong again might have some like bug fixes of i don't know choices matter or something like that but other than that the game seems to run pretty smoothly um uh, you have to to give them that uh as a technical point there but other than that the 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 main story or the main dialogue and the story seems okay-ish it doesn't have that uh, many um uh, uh acronym mafia kind of uh, uh preaching and and trying to impose themselves there i think it's the the side quests and the, the the side stuff there i think it's where you see the most uh cringe fest that there is on the videos that you've been seeing for sure on the on the youtubes and and the such there uh with that said uh again uh their single player fantasy rpg sequel won't receive any post-launch <laughs> downloadable content as their team has already moved on to the next project the news the new mass effect game uh even the director of this new Mass Effect game already had to come out and said that uh, even um, the, the choice of art style of Dragon Age uh, is not going to be the same for a uh, Mass Effect game, telling people that uh, the, the, what Mass Effect games try to strive in terms of art direction is being the most uh, photorealistic possible, uh, depending when it launches. But yeah, uh, it, 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 they try to get around of, uh, out of the way telling people no this is not going to we are not going for a hard style that is going to be kind of overwatch kind of uh, levels there um but yeah this is what i got a lot of stuff happening on dragon age uh the Vilgard game again this is let's see if they manage to launch the mass effect game uh depending on how much money they already buried on the mass effect game in terms of development costs probably they will take a shot here and try to launch it the best they can but uh, again uh doesn't pull well by the fact that it doesn't seem to be selling well so we'll have to wait and see then finally just talking about here a little bit on monster hunter wilds beta uh, again uh, i tried the beta it was the first time that i played any kind of uh, monster hunter games or demos or anything like that i what i tried to uh, on the videos that i made and and record my main mission was to um pick a weapon uh, I, it was uh it's not the switch plate it's the um, oh my god i forgot the weapon that i choose the weapon uh, thing it's uh the one that is a sword and shield that transforms into an axe again i don't remember the, the class of that of that uh, weapon uh, i had a good time trying to discover the mechanics uh, behind that weapon and but my mission was trying to be as more proficient as i could with that weapon to see how the combat feels uh, trying to fight some monsters here and there and uh, trying to see what kind of combos you can put out and see if it feels fluid and everything uh, and I did enjoy it in, the as in that aspect I think that the beta didn't have a lot of didn't have any kind of crafting or upgrades in terms of equipment or weapons I think the test was more about the multiplayer test and give something to players to do and see how the servers run in the backlog and hopefully try to see uh, what kind of systems player were play uh, that players were uh, playing the game with and, and see uh, in terms of optimizations because the game is not optimized at this state at least the beta version um i had again i mentioned that several times throughout the videos that i have a 7700x and a 7900xtx as a gpu uh, and uh, i had to have a smooth frame rate uh, at least 4k 60 and above i have to use upscaling uh, even though I managed to, with the upscaling, uh, put everything on ultra in terms of graphic settings, I could have reached 4K uh, 60 or above in terms of performance if I 
managed to put it on medium or lower settings, which by itself, given that my system is a very high, uh, high-end system, uh, I don't think it's uh, very well optimized, uh, especially on the up system, on this main camp that they give us for the beta. It, it syncs to 40-ish, even with the, the upscaling things and, and everything. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, what did I experiment with? I really did enjoy the, 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 the combat flow, how it feels, how you go about changing the monsters. I enjoyed the, the, the sacred, I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure if the mounts were uh, are a staple on the series, I don't think so. I enjoyed the Pelico thingy. Uh, I, I made the Pelico trying to make it look my uh, my own uh, cat, uh, Pachichu. Um, but yeah, other than that, I only experimented with that weapon uh, because I wanted to see if how the, how the weapon feels by itself. I, I could, in the main game, try to main another weapon i in the last video I, I tried like five minutes the the bow and arrow to see how it looks the the the, the range combat um probably i will do a, another one uh, again range combat usually i'm not uh, i don't favor that much um range combat in this kind of games um but yeah i, I had a good experience it was a short one hopefully there will be a demo like uh, at least a, a month or so before the, the launch of the final game so they can entice more newcomers and of course he had like a huge all-time peak of uh, 463,000 players around that which is pretty good beat a lot of numbers uh, for a beta uh, uh, the beta the, the player count I think it was uh, like one day and a half to, to reach that, then it, it synced because I think people played the dem the, the beta. The, they they took the worth of the beta there um, because the beta itself, in terms of the story missions and everything, it, it's not very long. I think you can complete it in like two three hours maximum. I think you can complete that. But then again, you got the the the, the you can do the hunting, so you can try out several um, uh, monsters there. But yeah, I did have a, 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 an enjoyable moment and I'm pretty excited for this game. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will probably try to stream this game and, and buy it on after the reviews come out. Because again, uh, I, I don't pre-order. The only thing that I pre-ordered in my lifetime since I've been gaming 20 years plus was the Shadow of the Earth 3 game, uh, DLC, sorry. Uh, it was the only thing that I pre-ordered and in, it was after I see a lot of previews and everything, I finally did that jump. But again, I don't recommend that, uh, not even for DLC. I usually don't recommend play, um, buying the, the Ultra Deluxe Editions unless there is something that is already reviewed and uh, the, those uh, DLCs already come out and as a package makes sense in the overall enjoyment of the game but usually that happens like almost a year after the game comes out but yeah and then that I really did enjoy Monster Hunter Wilds better uh, and I, again um, you can catch up the the, the five videos that will be uh, published uh, throughout this couple of days uh, on the main channel and I will have a dedicated playlist for that uh, gameplay session there um, with that said, let's go for some gaming deals and what happened here? Am I without internet? No. Okay. It just went dark there. Um, yeah, you got Ghost, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo on Epic Game Store, free to claim. Um, I think a couple of, uh, yeah, one more day. Uh, I already claimed this in, uh, it's not the first time Ghostwire Tokyo is for free on Epic Game Store. So uh, it seems a pretty good game. Um, this comes from Tango, Ga Tango Game Works. Yeah, I think it's from Tango Game Works, uh, the studio that was closed uh, a while ago. Uh, on Steam, we got Bioshock the Collection, 80% off on the franchise there, on this uh, the trilogy plus all um, the DLC associated, and there is the remastered versions of the first two games. Everything is included here. Uh, pretty good uh, trilogy. Uh, we got also Dead Space Remake. Uh, again, a better price now, 70% off. Again, it, it, it's only worth, if you want to experience the game, uh, to buy um, the normal version. Uh, the deluxe version has an extra space suits and the such. Uh, doesn't offer a lot of value there. There is no DLC, extra DLC here. Um, again, I recommend this game. The only thing that, I'm, uh, that I don't like is the traversal stuttering from time to time when you try to open doors. Uh, I don't know, something happens within the Frostbite engine 
of, uh, I don't know, uh, it, it stutters sometimes. Sometimes you don't even notice that much. Other times, like two, or, uh, two seconds that the game freezes up. Uh, other than that, the game is uh, excellent. I don't have any complaints regarding that. Um, then you've got also Resident Evil franchise is on sale. I will leave all the Resident Evil games um, links for you to uh, pick and choose and complete your collection of Resident Evil games. Then you've got the original 80s is also on sale, 60% off um, on, the, on the game itself. Pretty good game as an action uh, roguelike uh, game. Isometric view, very good, very good. Uh, for, again, overall, I mean, positive reviews there. Then you got Dead Stranding, um, the director's cut, 50% off. Again, I'm playing this game. I managed to um, claim it for free for Epic Game Store. And it's one of those that I really want to continue and stream uh, when I can uh, and, and continue the story uh, on this game here. Then we got also Pacific Drive is again on sale, 40% off on the base game, but the deluxe version is also on sale. I think uh, the deluxe version has better value for the content that they bring. If not mistaken, in the difference is not that much also. Uh, so I will leave it to you to choose that. Uh, then you got also Dragon's Dogma 2. It's on sale. Um, and uh, both versions are discounted, even though the base game is it's way cheaper here. Uh, again, don't fall for... Again, one of the things I didn't like is the microtransactions here that they managed to, to pull out here, even though, uh, again, doesn't have any kind of influence on the, on the game itself. Everything that it's uh, that you can buy here is uh, more than uh, achievable on the main game without any kind of hustle. And I think they even balanced the game around it of uh, uh, putting uh, being more easy to get around getting these things without you buying them after launch because people were complaining about this. Other than that, I think the main complaint on this game is still a little bit on the <clears throat> performance side of things and a little bit on the lack of uh, monsters and enemies uh, on the open world uh, side of things. I think that's those main complaints there. Even though, again, same engine, Monster Hunter Wilds, uh, pretty good in terms of graphic-wise. Uh, again, it, it's just a little bit of lack of optimization still, at least on this game here. Uh, on GOG, we got Alan Wake, the original one. Uh, this is not the remastered or, or rework version. Um, it, it's the, the original one. It's 70% off. Again, it's a good price for the game. Um, got also inside 75% off, Limbo 75% off, and then uh, Spirit Farewell Edition 75% off. Again, this game seems pretty good. I really like the, the, the videos that they showed. And if you're not sure, there is a demo for you to try out. And basically, that's it uh, for today. Uh, I will wrap up here with a plug on my Patreon. Uh, for extra support, this extra support is for me to try and see uh, if I can manage to get around a better storage solution so I can have backups of backups of stuff that I do for my clients and of course some extra space for the videos that I do for the channel. And with all that said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. So until then, let me master out.